So how to use the distributive property in mathematics. Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and the distributive property is one of the most important and most fundamental parts of algebra because you use this property quite a bit. So we'll introduce the distributive property with you and then give you a couple of examples as to how this works. So the distributive property says a times b plus c is equal to ab plus ac. Now what that, what that means here is it combines multiplication with the operation of addition. So for example, you take the term on the outside and you multiply it by every term on the inside, keeping the signs consistent. A times B is AB, and because there's a plus sign, we have a plus, and then A times C is AC. Now, here's a couple of illustrations applying this property. Suppose you want to take the number 3 and you want to multiply it by, let's just say, X plus 2. So what that means here is 3 times x is what you do first. So 3 times x is 3x. And then, because it's positive times a positive, we know that's going to be positive. Now, after you multiply the 3 times the x, you multiply 3 times 2. Well, you know 3 times 2 is going to give you 6. So 3 times x plus 2 is going to be 3x plus 6. Now what if you have negatives? Well, let's go over one involving negative numbers. Suppose you have negative 2 times x minus 1. What that means is you're going to take the negative 2 and you're going to multiply by everything on the inside. So here we go once again. Negative 2 times x is going to give you negative 2x. Now, for the next term, negative 2 times negative 1. Now you have to remember the properties of signs. Negative times a negative is going to give you a positive, so instead of subtraction that you might expect, it's actually going to be addition. So negative times a negative is going to be positive, and 2 times 1 is going to give you 2. So that means negative 2 times x minus 1 is going to give you negative 2x plus 2 as your final result. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and there's an introduction to the distributive property in mathematics.